cheating and anything is wrong. But consistency in First Lego League is great. Now, here's what I mean by that. Robots are robots. They're not that consistent at all, especially when they're Lego robots and, you know, wiggly wheels and weird stuff and things happen under the mat with the wood and stuff like that. But if you can make your robot as consistent as possible, you are setting your team up for success. And I'm going to show you some code that helps that happen and offer you this, a free consistency sheet. Whether you're using this robot, this is a mini Max that I have on my channel to build. It's got an attachment motor in the back, an attachment motor in the front. Maybe some more advanced teams wanna use this. And this is a mini light. It's got just one attachment motor in the front. And this wheel, uh, I added this after the fact. Uh, it connects to the motor, you can kind of turn the attachment. It's just easier to reset the robot. But anyway, uh, whether you're using this robot or this robot, the hub is the same and, or even an older robot of mine, uh, the hub's the same and it allows you to very precisely do a couple different things. It has what's called a gyroscope in it. Now, a gyroscope is what is gonna help us get perfect turns every single time, but that's not all. I wanna show you some tips. Okay. So I'm gonna connect my robot with Bluetooth and I am ready to start building this out. I can zoom in a little bit so you can see the program uh, a little bit better. So I've got this script right here that says when program starts. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build some starter code that I'm gonna use every single time. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna set my movement motors to a and B if they're not already set to A and B. And then I want to set my attachment motors speed just generally and I can change these later in the code if I want to. My attachment motor is in C and I usually like to set them to 20 to 25 percent and I've got another one in D. Yours might be different and that's okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my more movement blocks and I am going to select set acceleration to slow. And what that does is when the robot goes to move, it will accelerate to the speed that you set it to at a slower pace. So there's not as, it's more controlled, it's not as jerky. And then what I want to do is I want to set my movement speed to 10% or something low and then move backwards for 0.5 seconds. And what that does is when I hit play, it's going to download code onto this robot and it's going to move the robot back into the wall just in case I don't set it up perfectly, you'll see even if I don't set it up perfectly, it will work on, uh, it will work to align the robot up. So here we go. And now the robot's perfectly square to the wall and can leave perfectly straight. Now after this, I can add a comment here and I can say that this is my starter code. This is my starter code. And I can go on from here. I can add blocks underneath this one. Start adding blocks. under this one. And 
I could say, all right, well, I want to move forward for a certain amount of rotations uh, after that. So if I download this, then the robot will move back against the wall and then move forward for one rotation, perfectly perpendicular, perfectly straight off of the wall. Now that's at a speed of 10. If I wanted it to be faster, which I'm sure that you do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna set my movement speed to 75 uh, or something like that, hit play and then I'll back up against the wall and then move faster. But this portion of code never changes for anything that I suggest any team do. We always do this first on every single outing from the launch area. Every time it always starts with this code right here. Now, the other thing to take advantage of consistency is using the gyroscope in the robot. The gyroscope is a sensor that senses how many degrees or how much a robot has turned from side to side. Now, in a helicopter, if we think about helicopters, there's pitch, roll, and yaw. Pitch is like turning this way, the robot tilting up and down this way. Roll is rolling, and yaw is how much it turns this way. Now, we're going to use the yaw to our advantage. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a function or a my blocks. I'm going to click on my blocks and I'm going to click make a block. And I want this block name to be turn right. Oops, if I can spell right, turn right. Now, I have turn right. It could be two words if you wanted it to. Uh, and I'm going to add an input. I'm going to name this input degrees. And I'm going to click save. And I get this define turn right. Now, I also have a block over here that I could drag out and I could say, if I wanted to, I could say, okay, well, I want my, uh, the robot to set the movement speed to 75 after it's done all the, the starter code, set the movement speed to 75 and move forward for one rotation and then turn right. So I would want it to do this, but that's not gonna happen because the robot doesn't know what to do with this turn right. It doesn't exist. The robot doesn't know what turn right means. So under this define turn right, we're gonna tell it what turning right means. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to set the yaw angle to zero. We're gonna say you're at zero, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you're at, you're gonna reset your brain to zero. And then we're going to start moving. Now the start moving blocks, uh, the start moving uh, block is under the more movement category. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the, this is the left wheel of the robot. And this is the right wheel of the robot. I'm going to start moving. If I want to turn right, the, uh, the right wheel has to go backwards and the left wheel has to go forwards. So I'm gonna say that this is a positive 15 and this is a negative 15 speed. So the left wheel is gonna move forward at 15. The right wheel is going to move backwards at 15. All right, now what I'm gonna do is some, some math. I'm gonna teach my robot math. I'm gonna say, I want you to keep going, start turning and wait until your angle that you're reading is more than uh, the degrees that I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some math and say I want it to wait until the blank alligator sign, the greater than symbol, 100. And I'm going to pull that out. I'm just going to put it in there. And uh, I'm going to leave the 100 there for a second, but then I'm going to pull out this absolute value of. 
one, and I'm going to put it in the empty bubble. And then I'm going to come back to sensors, and I'm going to say there's this uh, pitch angle. I can change it to yaw angle, and I'm going to say this. Now, uh, then I'm going to take this degrees right here. I'm going to click it, and I'm going to pull it, and plop it in there. And then I'm going to tell the robot to stop moving. I know that was a lot, but let me explain what's happening. If in my code I say turn 90 degrees or 45 degrees, okay, then I would want the robot to come out and turn 45 degrees. What actually is happening is it is saying, okay, well, it's coming out and I'm going to reset my brain to zero and I'm going to start moving my wheels and I'm going to start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, blah, 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 all the way to 45. 40, it, 45 is not greater than what I typed in this bubble. So it's looking at what I type in this bubble right here and saying, okay, I need to wait till I count higher than what they typed in that bubble. Okay, degrees is this, that 45. And I'm going to 45, 45, 45, 46. Oh, it's greater than, I need to stop. And it will work for 30, it'll work for 15, it'll work for 10, it'll work for 90, okay? So it'll go all the way up, and it'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 44, 45, 46, stop! And then it will stop moving, all right? So what we have now will look like this. If I play this, moves forward, turns 45 degrees, exactly 45 degrees. Now, here we go. That's turning right. What if I want to turn left? Well, I can make a new block. New block, make a block, name it turn left, add an input, degrees, click save, and now I get the same thing. You Look, I have a turn left block that I could pull up here. And then I can take this whole code, and I'm not going to actually redo it. I'm going to copy, duplicate this, and put it here. And I'm just going to switch my positive 15 and negative 15. And I'm going to say 90. And now it'll turn right 45 degrees, then turn left 45 degrees, all in one swoop. Move forward, turn right 45 degrees, then turn left 45 degrees, or 90 degrees. And there we go. We've got some perfect turns. It will be wonderful every single time. You can mess with the numbers. It could be 10. You can turn slower. Uh, as long as these two numbers are the same, 10 and negative 10, and, and negative 10 and 10, as long as the two numbers are the same, only one's positive and one is negative, then that is fine. Now, I want to talk about this absolute values thing. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure I save this, save as starter code, and I'm going to put it somewhere where I can duplicate it and start a new program. So I'm going to save this to my desktop, save, and every time I need to open a new Thing. I'm going to duplicate it, open it, and I've got starter code ready to go. Now before you actually do that, you need to make sure that what you have here on your screen is exactly what you want to start with every single time. All right. Otherwise, you're going to end up with extra blocks and then you don't want that. Okay, so this is what I suggest every team starts with every single time. I like to turn 15 degree, or 15, and negative 15, negative 15, and 15. And I know that if a team uses this code to launch out of the home area, they will be very, very accurate every single time and very, very consistent on how that actually works.
Now, I want to talk about this, this math right here. Because what is happening is, what is happening is, the abs, this is the abs of, that means absolute value, okay? Absolute value is just the distance something is from zero. So let's use the robot as an example. The absolute value of the robot to the distance between the, the robot and the distance of the wall is zero, okay? Here, I could say there's one square, it's one. Here is about two squares, it's two. Here is about three squares, it's three. Here is about four squares, it's four. The same thing could be true for the opposite. I could take it this way, you can't see it, but it's negative absolute, negative numbers, it's outside of the field. It's on the opposite side of zero. But I could say it's still one unit away or one measurement away from zero, or two measurements away from zero. This is one measurement away from zero, two measurements away from zero, three measurements away from zero, four measurements away from zero. So the absolute value is just a distance from zero. So the absolute value is just counting how far away from zero a number actually is. Whether that number is negative 100 or positive 100, it's still the absolute value of 100 is 100. The absolute value of negative 100 is 100. So it's counting, it's not a positive or negative number, it's just how, it's just a measurement away from zero. That's what the absolute value is. Maybe you've learned that in math class before, maybe you haven't, but that's what it is. So this whole thing is how I recommend teams start and utilize and use and take advantage of the uh, built-in gyroscope in the Spike Prime Hub. And if you do that, and this makes sense to you, I would definitely do it. And guess what? You know what? I got more. I can, you can, you can take this. This is a free download for you to use. Utilize. I've got all, all the, the starter code. This is for a robot that is on my, all the robots on my channel. This works for on all the robots on my channel, except for the EV3, all the spike robots on my channel. So use this, take it. I know this was, this is a big, big concept of, of, of using the gyroscope, but this starter code package, this starter code deal is going to help you be more consistent and score more points and have more fun and learn more, like what an absolute value is, just a unit away from zero, not just what it is, okay? If this helped you and gave you an idea, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps more people see what we do here and grows our community. Y'all are awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.